So this is my Bollywood story about three guys that came back into my life in 2004. Hey, this is Donnie to the Max, coming to share with you what I call a Bollywood story. You know how those Bollywood stories have separate stories going on in the film? Where somewhere towards the end, you realize that all the stories are interconnected. So this is my Bollywood story about three guys that came back into my life in 2004. So this video will be separated in parts because I don't want you all to, well you guys probably won't get bored because it's kind of juicy, but it's separated in parts because I need to give the backstory on these three guys. I am going to start with one guy, this particular guy, we're going to call him James. Now that's not his name. That's actually an acronym of his name with letters switched around. And when I put it together, I'm like, yeah, his name is going to be James. So I met James during my college days. Um, this was after I had taken that brief stint away from college after dealing with the abusive guy I had to take a semester off get my mind back together you know regroup come back stronger and plus I had one more year left of college so I might as well finish it out right when I came back to college um, I think it was like January so that must have been like spring semester right and when I first got to back to college, there was this one guy I started dating. Um, we met on the dance floor and he was a great guy. He was he was a, actually the, one of the sweetest guys I have ever dated. There's only been three sweet guys I've ever dated. And let's just say, well, this one I can't say I messed up, but the other two we can say I messed up. Anyway, so we're gonna call this guy, the guy on the dance floor. So the guy on the dance floor was really cool. We were. We, we just clicked. With that said, though, James was always in my face while I'm dating the guy from the dance floor. And I would tell James, uh, well, this guy hasn't done anything to me. He's a great guy. I'm not going to mess with you and mess up this relationship because the guy on the dance floor hasn't done anything wrong. So why would I mess around with you? And probably the way I said it, I, as you guys know from my conversations with my mom, I have a pretty slick mouth. So with having a slick mouth, with having a slick mouth, this seemed to turn James on even more, even though I'm like, get away from me. Well, during summer break, I didn't hear from the guy on the dance floor. I was in California, he's in Texas. So I'm like, okay, so I guess we're not in a relationship where we're on summer break. Hey, whatever. Get back to school. I'm like, what happened? You didn't contact me during summer break, yada, yada, yada. He basically broke up with me because he's like, well, I have three more years of college left. You'll be graduating this year. I don't think it's gonna work out. And yes, I was heartbroken because as you guys know, I've dated thugs, basically. And this guy was not a thug, and I was like, oh, I'm finally getting it right. But, mm, 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 well, I didn't get it right. <laughs> so, moving on back to James. Well, since the guy from the dance floor and I didn't work out, I was like, oh, opportunity now, James. Here I am. You've been chasing me all this time. He. <laughs> There's a stint later on in years. He had written me a letter basically saying he didn't chase me for nothing. We'll get to that letter <laughs> in, a, in another video. So James and I started dating. As I always do, even though it goes falls on deaf ear, 
I'm like, I want a relationship. I'm not trying to just fool around. Yes, these are college days. You, you got to be like super duper, so, super duper specific with people. Or if they don't meet your requirements, let them go. So with dating James, basically James was a bad boy and we all know how bad boys are. They say they like you, but they don't really want to show it around other people. Kind of like that Destiny's Child song. <laughs> um, so there was uh, this time, it was during Thanksgiving break. And before we were leaving campus, this is the first time James showed his true feelings. He gave me like a big old hug and and I can't remember what he said to me, but basically all his boys around him was like, oh, it's like that? So I guess he wasn't fronting anymore. So women, respect yourself first. That's the only way a man is going to give you respect. If you don't like something, speak up, even if you think you're going to lose him. Because it's not worth holding on to something that's not mutually respected. All right, Donnie, remember to toast to life because it makes for a great story. This has been Donnie to the Max. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell and check to receive all notifications.